What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to a brand new episode of Maximus IV. What I have here to your guys' left is a 1976 Farm Fest America's Bicentennial bottle of 7-Up. This is a 47-year-old bottle of 7-Up. And what I have to your guys' is right is a modern day bottle of 7-Up from 2023. The title of today's video is going to be What Happens When You Drink a 1976 7-Up Next to a Modern Day Fresh One. You guys know how it goes. There's only one way to find out. So without further ado, let's dive right into this and see exactly what we're dealing with. Here we go. This is a September 13th through 19th, 1976 Lake Crystal, Minnesota 7-Up bottle. This was a Farm Fest edition, America's Bicentennial Salute to Agriculture. And if you take a look closely on the bottle, you can definitely see farm-like people that are doing agriculture and this bottle is really cool it's quite a big piece of history and definitely a collector's item if you take a look at the cap you can clearly see that that's got some rust on it and that thing is definitely very very old 7-up bottle just go ahead and take a scan real quick all right, let's open up this 47-year-old bottle of 7-Up and see exactly what we're dealing with. Ouch. Oh, my finger. Holy crap. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There we go. Woo! I don't know why I prefer to open these with the key instead of a bottle opener, but I just like it, the challenge, which is stupid, but whatever. Oh, wow. Okay. So, right off the bat, smelling this 1976 bottle of 7-Up, it has that same rotten sugar smell as that 49ers Coke bottle that I did from 1984. And it also has a very similar smell to a 1986 Cherry Cola Slice, as well as a Cherry Pepsi and a Wild Cherry Pepsi. How does it taste? Oh my gosh. That tastes absolutely nothing like 7-Up should. <laughs> wow. Sugar really does have that distinct taste to it when it is aged and rotten. Not really rotten, just aged, because sugar doesn't really rot. That's how tough it is. But let's try another sip. Man. Okay, yeah, that aged sugar taste. Okay, so it has that aged sugar taste, but it's not as heavy of an aged flavor as a dark soda, a cola soda. Let's see how this 7-Up tastes from 2023. 
Oh, wow. Okay. What a difference. So this absolutely tastes the way it should. It definitely smells the way it should. I'm sure we all know what 7-Up tastes like. It's kind of hard not to know. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so I do feel like this 1976 7-Up bottle does off-put the flavor of the 2023 one just by a little bit, but not horribly bad. Let's now jump back to the 47-year-old bottle and see how it tastes after drinking the fresh one. Ooh, wow. That is very consistent. I'm actually impressed how well this is holding its stubborn old flavor, even after sipping a really good 2023 7-Up bottle. Wow. I can honestly say that after drinking this 2023 7-Up bottle, it did not help enhance this 1976 7-Up bottle at all whatsoever. Let's take another sip of the old one. Very consistent, very stubborn, very aged. It's not budging. It's just not budging at all whatsoever. I'm actually quite impressed if that even makes any sense. Now, let's try a second round of sipping on the modern day 7-Up bottle again and see if anything happens now. Okay, wow. So, I do feel like that the second round of tasting the 7-Up bottle from 2023 after the second round of tasting the 1976 bottle has diluted the flavor again. Even more this time on round two. However, when you first take another sip of the modern day 7-Up bottle for round two, you can definitely taste that it's fresh in comparison to this one, but this one dilutes it so much that even though you can taste that it should be fresh, and that it does taste ever so slightly fresh, the freshness, boom! It leaves your mouth almost instantly as soon as you take the sip and swallow it. It's just that fast. So that is my final assessment, you guys. At the end of the day, what happens when you drink a 1976 47-year-old 7-Up bottle next to a modern-day one? On round one, it dilutes the flavor. And then on round two, it dilutes the flavor even more. I thank you guys for watching. Maximus the Fourth here. I am signing out, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much.